Hello, legends, heroes, and poopy heads. Welcome to the Omni Flash channel, where Omni Flash will take gaming to the next level. Welcome back. My name is Omni Flash, and in today's video, I'm going to tell you 10 secret steps to get 3,500 plus points on your tower runs. All right, so this week we just got our Tower of Fortitude. That's the amazing plus 20% PvP bonus tower. And in order to get the 3,500 plus runs, what you need, step one, you need two to three huge whales. All right, so you, first of all, you need whales that are five to seven K uh, resonance. And the reason this is because the towers are not equalized. It's not an Elder Rift. What you are going to need to do is these whales are going to have to clear uh, the mobs like instantaneously. Okay, so if, for example, if you are uh, 1k resonance or 2k resonance, you're going to take maybe two or three times longer to kill a monster while a 5 to 7k whale can literally just make them explode. Secret tip two, those two to three whales are not going to be picking up the purification orbs. The little light blue purification orbs that give you extra 10 seconds, extra eight seconds, whatever it is. You don't pick those up because your, your two or three whales will be going through in the, in the front, clearing all the monsters while the person in the back who is getting the high score is just you know, running as fast as they can in order to pick up the purification orbs. All right, so that's the person in the back who's being carried is not actually killing many things. I mean, they can kill things, but they don't have to. It's mostly, it's mostly the, it's mostly the two or three whales in front that are that are killing. So, so that's how it is. So now you're asking, uh, so the, how come the people up front? that are killing everything, the two or three whales up front killing everything, they actually will run out of time because they don't pick up the extra time orbs, right? Uh, it's okay because even though you are out of time, you are continually killing and those will count towards uh, the, the total. The, all the monsters you kill for the people you are carrying will count for them, all right? So you, uh, the people in front, people massacring, the kill squad up front destroying everything uh, will actually not be getting high scores. The only person that's getting the high scores is the person in the back following and picking up all the purification time extending orbs. All right, yeah, secret tip number three. You, you're going to have to create these teams up front, right? You got to get two or three whales together and uh, have these runs. So it's... I. I recommend, highly recommend that you get into something like Discord. We uh, we have Discord in Eden Gaming, and we get into Discord and we tell each other where to run. Okay, so it's good to have voice command. The two or three whales in front, which are actually carrying, will have to actually just tell tell the person in the back which way to run. Okay, so it's good to have that. Also, uh, you want to form a team up. Uh, of four and create a new instance if you create a new instance you won't have other players in there so you have to do tower in a team of four because you kill things faster all right you kill things faster this is the only way you're going to get to 3500 plus uh score for tower so the fourth secret tip is you're going to have to use a good paragon tree i recommend something like massacre massacre is really good uh, i want all everything that makes you run faster you want everything that makes you run faster uh the massacre tree makes you run faster it's really good uh you can also use something like vanquisher to make you deal more damage if you want to use vanquisher vanquisher is also good for this if you have trouble killing things vanquisher is really good you can also use uh special set of set items that make you run faster like the ishtar set a windloft set if you don't get hit secret tip number five now you can kill everything that that is fine but you just want to really focus on all the blues all the yellows all the oranges and the bosses the, there will be uh, big red bosses there are red skulls in the red zones you will have one red zone in the very bottom 
and one red zone in the very west, in the left-hand side. Those red zones may spawn uh, some bosses. You want to kill those bosses. You want to kill all the blues, yellows, oranges. They drop the most purification orbs, which will give you the most time. Secret tip number seven. Uh, the best way to run is to go either clockwise or counterclockwise along the outside. You can either go to the held zone, the red zones in the west or in the south first. And if you go to the south, you want to go counterclockwise. Uh, you want to go clockwise. If you go to the south, you want to go clockwise into the other red zone. The reason is you want to hit the two red zones first. You want to hit the two red zones first because they do give double points. So you want to hit the two red zones first, giving you more points, and run along either clockwise or counterclockwise, giving time for those towers to respawn. Um, also, if you go to if you go to the west first, then you will want to go counterclockwise because you want to go to the west, the red zone in the west, then counterclockwise into the other red zone. This way you can hit the red zones more often and get the 2x points. Secret tip number eight, each run will not be a max run. Each run will not be a max run. You may have to do it a couple times, but if you're doing it this way, if you have your two or three whales doing it for you, then uh, you will actually have an easier time going for it. But um, this is like an Elder Rift. You're not going to get the same amount of bosses. You're not going to get the same amount of blues and yellows in each run. So you may have to do this a couple times in order to get your 3,500 plus uh, scores. Secret tip number nine. You do not want to... You see that kill streak right there? You don't want to keep that kill streak up forever. You do want that to expire. Uh, I say maybe like every 500 kills you can make it expire. And... Uh, because when you, when it expires, it's going to drop like 10x shards. That's a lot of shards, huge amount of shards. Uh, if you don't let it expire, you will max out and you will get less shards. So you want, want it to expire about once every 500 kills. Secret tip number 10 is uh, kind of important. You want to make sure that you don't accidentally go back to town. All right, so as you're running, uh, do uh, make it make sure you don't go back to town there's going to be a blue like force field door make sure you don't run into that if you go back to town you won't be able to come outside and continue to pick up cursed shards right so so the way this works is that you have the two or three whales in front killing everything the guy in the back picking up the purification shards and after the guy in the back being carried runs out of time you actually will actually go back backtrack and pick up all of the cursed shards at the end all right so it may it may take uh you know five ten minutes to pick up to make sure you pick up all the cursed shards but that's something that you have to do all right so th that's how you make sure that you get 35k and 100 i mean 3,500, not 35k, 3,500 plus scores in the tower. Make sure you have your whales. Make sure you are on Discord. Uh, those top 10 tips will help you to get your 3,500 score very easily. And I'm glad that you're watching this video. Just, self, just explaining you everything. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. I mean, I, I've seen other videos, but I think this is probably the best video, probably the most clearest, explaining to you exactly what to do. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, smash that notification bell, and comment below. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much. Yeah.